The 1965 Pontiac GTO Tri-Power is an iconic muscle car with a rich history and numerous fascinating aspects. The name was inspired by the Ferrari 250 GTO, where the letters GTO stands for Gran Turismo Homologado, Italian for Gran Turing Homologate. Pontiac's use of the name was a bold move that signaled the car's performance intentions, despite being quite different from the Ferrari in terms of design, performance, and price. This iconic car is often credited with starting the muscle car era. Introduced as an optional package for the Pontiac Tempest in 1964, the GTO's success led to it becoming its own model. The 1965 model with the Tri-Power option further solidified its place in automotive history as one of the most desirable muscle cars. The Tri-Power setup, which featured three two-barrel carburetors, was last offered in 1966 due to new General Motors corporate edicts that restricted multiple carburation to Corvette models only. This makes the 1965 GTO Tri-Power one of the last Pontiacs to have this performance-enhancing feature, adding to its collectability and appeal. It also created some advertising controversy. Pontiac's marketing for the GTO was aggressive and innovative, including a famous song by Ronnie and the Daytonas titled GTO, which helped build the car's image. However, the company also faced scrutiny for its marketing practices, including a controversial ad that exaggerated the GTO's acceleration capabilities, leading to criticism from automotive journalists and scrutiny from the Federal Trade Commission. Beyond its mechanical specifications, the GTO Tri-Power has become a cultural icon, symbolizing the peak of American muscle car power and design. It has appeared in numerous movies, TV shows, and songs, cementing its status not just as a car, but as a symbol of 1960s Americana and the freedom and rebellion associated with that era. Its engine, crafted by General Motors Pontiac Division, is a naturally aspirated 389 cubic inch, 6.4 liters, V8, producing 360 horsepower at 5,200 RPM and 424 foot-pounds of torque at 3,600 RPM through a tri-power setup featuring three two-barrel Rochester carburetors. It features an OHV valve train with two valves per cylinder, a compression ratio of 10.75 to 1, and operates with a water-cooled system and a chain-driven camshaft. The engine block is made of cast iron designed to use conventional or synthetic tin weight 30 oil, with a capacity of about 5 quarts. Without an electronic control unit ECU, its performance tuning relies on mechanical adjustments, highlighting the year's lack of emission standards and the substantial weight of 600 to 650 pounds for V8 engines of this period. This model offered a 4-speed manual transmission with a single dry plate clutch, manual gear lever, and gear ratios ranging from 2.56 to 1 in first gear to direct drive in fourth, requiring gear oil changes and clutch adjustments for maintenance. Alternatively, it had a two-speed super turbine 300 automatic transmission, less efficient due to torque converter slippage, using ATF and necessitating regular fluid and filter changes, both designed for the 389 cubic inch V8 engine. It also featured an independent front suspension and a solid rear axle with coil springs all around, complemented by hydraulic shock absorbers and front sway bars to enhance stability and handling. This setup, designed for optimal on-road performance and comfort, included non-adjustable factory settings but could be modified for ride height, stiffness, and damping, with maintenance focusing on regular inspections and replacements as needed. The 1965 Pontiac GTO Tri-Power, seated up to five passengers, and had a sizable trunk for its era. With dimensions highlighting its substantial presence and performance capabilities boasting a 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration of approximately 6.5 seconds, it combined muscle power with a performance-tuned suspension system. Priced from around $2,852, the GTO was available in a range of colors and offered several optional extras, including various interior upgrades. These facts highlight the 1965 Pontiac GTO Tri-Power's significant impact on automotive culture, its pioneering role in the muscle car era, and its enduring legacy as a collector's dream.